Welcome to How Does Light Travel Through Matter? When light hits an object, it can be reflected, absorbed, or completely passed through the object. What the light does depends on the type of matter it strikes. You know that all objects are made out of matter. The window, your desk, and even a piece of tissue paper are made of matter. So what happens when I shine a light on them? If I were to shine my flashlight on the window, the light would pass through it. That's because the window is made of glass, which is a transparent material. A transparent material is a material that light can pass through. Clear plastic and water are also transparent materials. What happens when I shine my flashlight on my desk? Does the light shine through my desk? Nope. The light is absorbed by the desk because the desk is opaque. An opaque material is a material that no light passes through. A book, a tree, and puppies are all opaque materials. Ooh, presents for you. Look at that. I wonder what it is. I see tissue paper in that bag. So how about tissue paper? Is it transparent or opaque? The answer is neither. Tissue paper is a translucent material. That means when I shine my flashlight on it, only some of the light will pass through. A translucent material scatters light waves in all directions. Things appear blurry when I look through a translucent material. Some examples of translucent materials are milky plastics and frosted glass. The word transmits means light can pass through. What type of materials transmit light? Well, transparent lets light pass through, so transparent materials transmit light. Translucent materials allow some light to pass through, so we know it transmits some light. Opaque objects do not transmit any light. Actually, they make shadows. Look at that picture. I know you thought I forgot about your presence. I didn't. <laughs> your presence this week is actually a lab and we are going to test different materials to see how light travels through them to see if they are transparent, translucent, or opaque. So which of those objects will transmit light? Is that not the gift you wanted? Sorry. Even so, I hope you enjoy the lab. Here it comes. Welcome as we explore just passing through the lab and scavenger hunt. First up is part one, the lab. Okay, for this next part, you're going to want to get your journal or just a piece of notebook paper because we are going to be making this chart. So you can see in the top left hand corner, I am writing the name of the object. And then we're actually going to have 10 objects listed there. So you can number your paper there, one through 10. And then when we get to it, we have glass, paper, plastic, cardboard, foil, wax paper, tissue paper, water, a mirror, and you. And then at the very top there, I have um, what we're going to be uh, determining each one is. So at the very top, I wrote, let's light through, and that would be transparent. Block some light, that would be translucent. 
and I kind of ran out of space there, but I have opaque. We know that no light will be able to pass through. So um, set your paper up so it looks like mine uh, before you go ahead and start the lab. Okay, so once you get your paper set up, I want you to get some of those objects or find examples of those objects and a flashlight. And now it's lab time. Hello, welcome Hi. to the Allforth Kitchen. I'm Mrs. Allforth, and who are you? I am, I'm Derek Allforth, is her, my, her assistant. Thank you. So my assistant is going to help me with this just passing through um, light lab today. So you can see I have a whole bunch of items that I had you list out in your journal. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a flashlight. So show us the flashlight. Okay. You got a flashlight. You guys know about that. And we're going to shine it through different objects and see if it lets light pass through so it's transparent. If it lets um, only some light through or blocks some light, that would be translucent. Or if no light passes through, that would be opaque. So first, we're going to start with glass. So Derek, let's go ahead and see if it lets light go through it. If it lets, lights go, lets light go through it, we say it transmits light. So is light oh. traveling through on the other side? Yes! And Mr. Allforce, I know you're in the background, but can you verify, is it going through there? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yay! Nice. So I'm going to mark that it lets light through right there on my paper. Okay. All right. Let's oh, leave that there because we're going to go in order. The next one on our list is paper. And um, you guys know I like to craft. So I have lots of different yeah. paper. Derek, feel this piece of paper. It's pretty smooth. And feel this one. Yeah, oh, it's hard. Yeah, so these are different kinds of thickness. Um, so this is just regular printer paper. Let's so Derek, sh shine it through. Okay, when I look at that here, Derek, you want to see it this way? Oh, I can see a little bit of light. Yeah, the light's going through because it's a really thin paper. So we would say this paper is translucent. But, but the other one? Let's see about the other one. That's a little bit thicker. Oh, no. that one is also letting some light go through too. Yeah, because um, it's like because, it but it's lesser light than the other. Right, because it's a thicker paper. Good job. So we're gonna mark this as blocking some light, and it would be considered translucent. All right. Next up, we have plastic, and it really depends on what kind of plastic you have. Um, one of the plastics that we have oh, is this stuff. Easy. This stuff is our saran wrap that we put on top of our leftovers saran wrap balls and we make saran wrap balls yes okay so when we shine light through that it just it just automatically does that i just i knew that all along yeah it was going right through it because it's clear so anything clear would be considered transparent yeah, but we also really have another type of plastic like uh look at this plastic like it, from an old milk um container yeah i, I drank that milk yeah he did drink that milk um, shine the light. Can, wait a minute, can I see? Oh my God, it shines light through it because it's in it. Here, yeah, it's shining the light through it, but it's not clear like that saran wrap. Yeah. So we would say a clear plastic is transparent and a milky plastic like our milk container would be translucent because only some of the light's passing through. Oh, guess what? Guess so this what? one I'm gonna put Translucent would be for a milky plastic. And I'm gonna put transparent for a clear plastic. Okay, next up we have cardboard. All right, cardboard. Is there any light going through that? No. No light traveling through, so we're gonna call that opaque. 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 Okay, next up we got some foil. Yeah. Some foil? Some foil? No. No. So if no light's traveling through, it's considered oh, opaque. Man. No, opaque, silly. Opaque. Okay. okay. The next one's wax paper, and I actually don't have any wax paper right now, but I have something that's similar, and that's called parchment paper. Uh, they're both used for cooking, baking. Um, well, this one's used for baking. Mm -hmm. Wax paper is not. We've learned that the hard way. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's just kind of a papery kind of material. So let's see here. Derek, shine the light. Yes. It goes through, but is it is it clear? Can I see through it exactly? 
No. No, so it's blocking some of the light. So we would call that, we would call that uh, translucent. All right, next up, we're gonna use some tissue paper. And um, I got, you got tissues, like you blow your nose in. You want me to hold it and you shine the light? I can see it's not clear. But it does shine through. So if only some of the light's shining through, we because would say it's, it's, like, it's like black. Right, we would say it's translucent. Uh, I also got tissue paper. This is that stuff that people put in your gifts, which is awesome. Um, shine that through. Yeah, only some of it's passing through. It's not clear. So we would say that tissue paper is translucent. And now here it is. Oh, nope, we're not there yet, bud. Next up, we have water. You want to bring the water over here, Derek? Thank you. You shine that light through there. The thing I like about water, especially in a clear glass, is I it can is see right through, through it. Yeah, it's clear. I can see right through it, can I? Yeah, but you want to see what happens if it's this one? That looks like it would be shining through the deep sea. Yeah. So we would say that water is actually transparent. Let's try this next one. A mirror. Shine the light there. I want to see if it comes out the other side. No. What if I did it this way? Does it come back? Is, no? no. Is it going the other way? No, it's reflecting back at you, isn't it? Yeah. So we would say the mirror is opaque. Yeah, even though it has a, it has a glass. Yeah, it's, it's opaque. Like, All right, um, we're going to do two more. Um, okay, the next one is is you. So that would be me. See if you can shine that through. Through your clothes? No, through my through my body. Nope. Is it not coming up through the front? No. Put it no, right there on my back. back. Is it on? No. Turn it on. Is it coming through my front? It is not. You know what that means? It's an opaque. I'm opaque. Um, I got one other random oh, item. Oh, yeah. Well, if my shirt was translucent, it, your shirt some of it. Okay. Your, your shirt can, has light coming through it. Well, okay. Most clothes are kind of translucent when you shine a light through it, but they're definitely opaque in the sense that they're covering our bodies, and that's what they're meant to do. Uh, I don't want any transparent clothes. All right, so the last bonus item. I brought some wood. I know it's not on our list, but I had to grab it. So, uh, Derek, shine that. Is there any light coming through the other side? Nope. I no. Already, I already know. It was so what opaque. is this? An opaque. It's an opaque. So I hey. already knew it was all long. Thank you. Hey, Derek, come here. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. Derek, thank you very much for helping. Huh. So you're welcome. You're welcome. All yeah. right. Bye-bye. So now let's look at our results. Let's look at all the objects that were transparent. Glass, clear plastic, and water. Think about the characteristics that they all have in common. They're all clear. Also, the ones that are translucent that block some light. We have paper, plastic, wax paper, parchment paper, tissue paper. Those items all let some light pass through, but not all of them, so we call them translucent. And finally, our opaque objects are cardboard, foil, mirror, and you, and that bonus item, wood. And those items, none of them, like light cannot pass through them. We also say light cannot be transmitted or travel through them. Um, so those objects are all opaque. It's scavenger hunt time. For your scavenger hunt, you need to access the Just Passing Through Lab scavenger hunt in Google Forms. You need to look where you live to find examples of transparent, translucent, and opaque objects. So you're going to list at least two of each type of object that you can find in and around your house. I hope you have fun and enjoy. Take care. Peace.